And if you're doing the hip abduction machine right here and you're not doing it this way, you're missing out on huge potential for huge glutes. So do it like this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be doing three glute favorite exercises of mine. I'm gonna show you why I'm doing them, how I'm doing them, how I'm gonna incorporate them in each workout. And I'm gonna show you the best of the best. Follow me and I'll show you why I do them. This is my first exercise, guys. We're gonna be doing the Bulgarian split squat, but we're gonna be using a bench. The key with this is to keep uh, your body stabilized. I'm using a bench. You could use a roller. You can grab plates and just have it stacked up, but have something in the back for your heel. So I'm gonna show you how to set this up. So we're gonna sit on the bench, right? We're gonna kick one of our feet out. I'll use my left one, for example. Wherever your heel lands is basically where you're gonna start. Come up. Now, most of your weight, I would say 80 to 90% is gonna be on your front foot. Your back foot is gonna be on the bench. Like I said, if you don't have a bench, use a roller, use a stack of plates, but find something because you're also going to have a better range of motion to do this. So as we come down, right, come down, come down, come up. We're going to slow down as we come down. Again, we want to control every movement on the eccentric. The key with this one is wherever your torso is, you want to be parallel to wherever your shins are. So as you can see, as I come down, my shin and my torso, they're both parallel, right? And most of my body weight is on my front foot. My back heel is just for stability. Same thing. You don't even need to sit back down on the bench. You could kind of just place your foot right next to the other one. Same idea, back foot. This also helps if you have discrepancies in muscles. So if your left leg is bigger than your right, this is really good as a unilateral movement. <laughs> I know uh, my buddy Gabe's laughing at me, but this is really good in case you have discrepancies. And then with every movement, I'm not gonna show it right now, you always wanna go close to failure, if not to failure, because that's gonna produce the most muscle growth. All right guys, next favorite exercise is gonna be the Romanian deadlift for glutes. So we're gonna set this up. We're gonna use a barbell for this exercise in particular. We want our feet to be about shoulder width apart. Same idea, left foot pointed at 11 o'clock, right foot pointed at one o'clock. And we're gonna keep the barbell as close to our body as we can. Another key thing with this, you want your hips to drive back forward. Nothing else moves, just your hips. And for a Romanian deadlift too, another key thing, you want a slight bend in your knees. So we're gonna come down, pop back up. One last key here, because you always need keys to success. As you come down, you don't wanna go so far low where you cause lumbar flexion, because that's when you're putting a lot more stress on your lower back than on your glutes and your hamstrings. So we wanna go low enough where there is no lower back flexion, if you see that. So we're gonna set the weights right now. That's my buddy Jay in the back. Jay, what's say what's up? <laughs> he doesn't care. He plays baseball, but we're, we're going to transition into weightlifting. He's already in shape, so he doesn't care. He doesn't have to lift. All right, guys, we set this up. I'm going to show you an example. I put 45 pounds on each side. Like I said, again, we're not experiencing any lumbar rounding because you're going to place a lot of stress on your lower back. We want to make sure our chest is always pushed out, right? So we're going to come back, and the only thing that moves is your hips, right? So we're coming back, boom. There. As for me, as far as I can go, I can pretty much go as low as just below my kneecap. So that's where I'm going to stop. An example. So right there, back up. You wanna make sure uh, with this movement, all the weight is across your entire foot and not just your heel. So that's another important factor too. Make sure all the weight is across your entire foot. Think of your foot like a tripod. There's three different areas you wanna cover your heel, your big toe and your pinky. So think of those areas when you do this. All right guys, right now, my next favorite exercise, we're gonna be doing the hip thrust machine. I like this one specifically instead of the barbell because you have more stability to hit your glutes. This one, I really enjoy a lot because you also have the straps which protects your waist. So if you have any like discomfort, you can also put a sweater underneath to give you a little bit more ease on your waist if it becomes too much of an issue. I'm gonna show you how to set up. Right now I have 45 pounds on each side. The key is with this, you always wanna keep your knees above your ankles or they should be in line creating like a right angle. Shoulder width apart, toes can be slightly pointed outward just a little bit. So left foot at 11 o'clock, right foot at one o'clock. Or shop herself in. 
This is uh, a really good exercise. All right, so we're gonna shop her in right now, you guys. The key with this is you want a tight squeeze as soon as you come at the top. So we're gonna lift ourselves up, right? Come down slow and an eccentric. One to two seconds. Pause, come up. Feel that squeeze at the top. Come down slow. One to two seconds. Come up top, squeeze. As long as you're not kind of just doing one of these and you're controlling the weight, that's really the most important part here. Come up the top, squeeze. Come down slow. I always like to keep my chin tucked too as well. So I don't have any neck discomfort or neck issues, but really up to you. That's definitely a good squeeze. We're gonna do three to four sets of that, 15 to 20 reps, uh, close to failure, if not to failure. And if you're doing the hip abduction machine right here and you're not doing it this way, you're missing out on huge potential for huge glutes. So do it like this. All right, guys, now we're setting up the hip abduction machine. Get in here. Your heels are gonna be basically in between the two spaces of the bars. The key with this is you want a full range of motion. So you want your knees to be touching one another, right? I think a lot of people forget the idea that you want a full range of motion and the best way to increase muscle growth is to be in the fully lengthened position. So anytime you fully lengthen a muscle, that's when you begin to lift, right? So for squats, as soon as you lift the, the weight up, you're lengthening the muscle. When you bench, when you get to the bottom portion, you're lengthening the muscle. So same idea, we want our knees to be touching each other. And another quick tip, you wanna kind of move forward a little bit, right? So with this, this is as far as I can go. If you guys have padding, I would stick padding right in between your legs or right on the outside of your legs so you can get more of a full range. So I'm gonna show you right now as an example, right? Come up a little bit. Like I said, if your knees don't touch each other, get padding on the outside so you get a better range of motion and you're really gonna feel the stretch on your upper and lower glutes.